I wanted to share with you the latest rabbit hole that I've been going down. So my research is nowhere near complete, but I wanted to share with you the research that I found so far on clothes brushes. Brushes for clothes have been around since at least the 16th century. But before we get started, make sure to select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If you have any questions or comments during the video, please post your comments below and make sure to select subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out. So welcome to my video on clothes brushes from the 16th to the 18th centuries. On the bottom left hand side are three different paintings and in these portraits you can see a clothes brush hanging on the off of the skirt from the lady. So here is a more up close picture of those three pictures on the far left hand side, number one, that is from, if I mispronounced this, I'm sorry, please correct me, the Kunstbuchlin from 1599. The picture in the middle is from 1559. And the picture on the right hand side, number three, that is from about 1573 to 1612. As you can see, all three ladies are wearing a brush and you can see it looks like a handle and then the brush part itself with the bristles fans out. So here are some examples of clothing brushes from the centuries. On the top left-hand side is a clothes brush from about 1743 to 1745. It's German and it's at the Met Museum. On the bottom left-hand side is a clothes brush. It is German from about the 17th or 18th centuries, and that, that is at the Germanisches National Museum. And on the right hand side is uh, another clothes brush, and this one's from about the 17th century, and it's German, and it's also at the Germanisches National Museum. So, what exactly is a clothes brush? A clothes brush was used to help remove lint, fluff, dirt, dust, or anything else that may have attached itself to an outer garment. More or less, think of it like a medieval lint roller. Heavier, um, heavy outer clothing was shaken after wear to remove the dust, and then sometimes with a light beating, with a brush or whisk. Outer layers of clothing most often was made of wool, or richer fabrics like silk. And these fabrics do not wash well, and so they were cleaned with a clothes brush instead. Which, if you think about, if you know anything about historic clothing, if you've got the, the outer layers that are maybe made of wool, but the inner layers are made of linen, it's much easier to wash the linen. You could bleach it in the sun and clean off the bodily oils that are soaked into the linen and then preserve the wool fabrics or the silk, the brocades much better just by taking a brush and brushing off your dirt. So what exactly was a brush made of? The Germanisches National Museum describes the first brush from the last page as a brush made of long white colored pig bristles in a slightly flattened brush shape, a conical handle was made of light colored leather and has a loop made of a leather strap at the upper end. And the other brush that was also from the Germanisches National Museum was similar where it was long light colored bristles, a conical handle that was edged with red velvet and it had brass strands and then finished on the top with a multi-profiled ivory pommel. And with this description, it also the museum also said, judging by the elaborate processing, the brush may have been used in the context of personal care, such as part of the toilet equipment or as a clothes brush. So I personally think it was a clothes brush just based on what I've seen in paintings and then looking at the brushes themselves, I think it was for clothes. However, some might argue that this brush may have been for hair. Some might argue that it was made for a dual purpose for both brushing your clothes and brushing your hair. Well, 
After this video, make sure to put a comment below and let me know what you think. Do you think that these brushes are meant for clothes, hair, or clothes and hair? So here are some more historical examples of these brushes. On the left-hand side, I've zoomed in because the painting itself is quite large, but on the left-hand side, I've zoomed in. This is a painting um, titled Cardinal Albrecht von Brandenburg. It was painted by Lucas Cranach the Elder about 1525. And as you can see behind the Cardinal hanging up on the wall is a brush that is the same conical shaped handle with uh, bristles going out in a fan shape. On the right hand side are 15th century brushes and this is at the Budapest Museum. As you can see it still has the conical shape for the handle however it looks like a lot of the bristles have fallen off but then again it's from the 15th century. What do you expect? And here are some more examples of clothes brushes. On the left hand side is a drawing. It's called the Study Sheets. It's from about the 16th century. It's German. The drawing itself is much larger and I've zoomed in. Again, you can see the fan, the brush is hanging up on the wall. It's hanging up between two hats. And this particular drawing is at the Met Museum. In the center is a sculpture and I have both the sculpture from the front, that's the smaller picture, and then from the side I've zoomed in and circled where the clothes brush is on this lady's person. This particular item was made by Christoph Gantner. If I mispronounced that last name, I'm sorry, please correct me in the comments below. It was made roughly between 1580 and 1590, it's German, and it is currently at the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna, Austria. On the right hand side is a painting and I have zoomed in on the lady and as you can see in her hand, she has the brush and actually looks like she is brushing off her sleeve. Great way to show off a clothes brush being used. And this painting is from about the 15th century and it is located at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. And some more examples of clothes brushes. On the left hand side is a brush from about 1600 to 1619. It is Dutch and it is at the Victoria and Albert Museum in England. In the middle is a drawing where I have zoomed in and I've circled the clothes brush. As you can see, it, it is hanging up on the wall. You can also see it looks like there may be some paper, there's scissors, and then you have the clothes brush. This particular drawing is titled St. Jerome in His Study, and it was drawn in 1514, and this particular item is located at the Met Museum. And the painting on the right is also titled St. Jerome in His Study. However, it is titled St. Jerome in His Study by Candlelight. And this painting was painted roughly between 1520 and 1530, and this particular painting is located at the Rijksmuseum. And another example of a clothes brush. This particular clothes brush was made roughly about 1695 to 1696. It is English and it is located at the St. Louis Art Museum. This particular clothes brush, compared to the clothes brushes that we saw earlier, this one is made with gilded silver, wood, and it has replacement bristles in it. I've also included the dimensions below to give you an idea of sizing for a clothes brush. And here is my Works Cited page in case you want to look up any of these paintings or drawings yourself. And my Works Cited page continued. Thank you for checking out this video. Again, my research is not complete. This was a rabbit hole that I started to go down because when I first discovered a clothes brush, well, I'd actually never heard of a clothes brush before. I'd heard of a lint roller, but not a clothes brush. And then when finding that it was in certain paintings that I had already seen, 
And to know that it had been there the whole time and I just completely was oblivious to it, I got even more excited and then started to do more research to see where else I could find these clothes brushes. So like I said, my research is not complete. So keep an eye out for a future video where I will share any updates that I may have on this topic. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the left-hand side. Remember to select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And please click subscribe and ring that bell to be updated when new videos come out.